Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of the best places to eat at mini vlog series. Now last week in episode 3 we did talk about Hollywood Studios. Now I do consider Hollywood Studios to be the weakest link in terms of dining out of Disney World. But if you would like to check out that video, you can find that right about here in the i button or linked in the description below. Now today we move on to Disney's youngest theme park, Animal Kingdom. But here I do run into a problem. There are a lot of restaurants that I've heard amazing things about that I haven't been to yet. And so, you know, those omissions from my list does bring down the quality of my list but all of the places that i am going to talk about today definitely deserve to be there there's a lot of great things to eat at animal kingdom so uh let's start talking about that so just like the previous episodes we're going to talk about the best quick service restaurants and table service restaurants at animal kingdom i'm also going to talk about good places to get snacks i'm going to throw that into the quick service category now let's jump right into it and the first quick service location that i would like to talk about is at tuli canteen in pandora now this place since i first went there to now it has been one of my favorite quick service locations on walt disney world property the food quality is absolutely amazing i, I love it i always get the combination bowl that's my go-to all the time it's absolutely amazing i do recommend it the food is high quality i love the atmosphere it could be a little hard to find a table sometimes that's like the only problem that i have with it but great food, great atmosphere, and it's located in Pandora, which is one of the best places in Walt Disney World to visit. It's a win-win-win, really. Now, in Satuli Canteen, there's also the cheeseburger pods. It's super popular. A lot of people say that it's really good. I haven't tried them yet. Right now, like I said, that combination bowl, it's always my go-to. But uh, maybe I give those cheeseburger pods a try eventually, you know, sooner rather than later. I would like to try them. Now, the next place that I would like to talk about is Flame Tree Barbecue for one reason and one reason only. They have these amazing french fries with pulled pork and barbecue sauce on top of them it is absolutely amazing it's one of the best things to get on all of walt disney world property like i said a couple videos ago i am a huge fan of barbecue so you get that pulled pork put barbecue sauce on top of it then you can also get barbecue sauce on the side so you put even more barbecue sauce on top of that on those french fries it's absolutely amazing now i was just looking at the menu of flame tree barbecue and i don't see the barbecue pulled pork fries on the menu which does scare me because uh that is like one of the best things to get anywhere and it's my go-to thing in flame tree barbecue i honestly don't think i've ever had anything else in flame tree barbecue so if they did get rid of it it is a huge loss to the disney dining community now the next place that i wanted to talk about it's in here kind of for the same reason as flame tree barbecue it's eight spoons cafe and they have a baked macaroni and cheese with pulled pork and barbecue sauce on top of it so it's basically the same thing you can get at flame tree barbecue just except for french fries it's macaroni and cheese and it's absolutely amazing now if i did have to pick one I'm leaning more towards the french fries at Flame Tree Barbecue, but both are absolutely amazing. Right now, Eight Spoons Cafe is closed, but you can get the baked macaroni and cheese and pulled pork with the barbecue sauce at Flame Tree Barbecue. So, technically, it's still available. It's absolutely amazing. Either one that you get, whether the macaroni and cheese from Eight Spoons Cafe or the french fries from Flame Tree Barbecue, it's absolutely amazing. You won't be disappointed just give them a try trust me now we head off to asia to talk about the anandapur ice cream truck i don't know what they do to this soft serve but it is absolutely amazing it's the best soft serve that you could find on walt disney world property not not including dough with just regular vanilla or chocolate or swirl soft serve this is the best i don't know what they do with it it's absolutely amazing it's my go-to ice cream on walt disney world property i would definitely go out of my way just to go get some ice cream at animal kingdom because it is absolutely spectacular it's huge it's a lot of ice cream i love it it's just trust me on what i'm telling you when you try it you'll see what i'm talking about it's they do something special with it because it's amazing it really is amazing and the last quick service place that we're going to talk about we're heading back to pandora because we're going to be talking about pangu pangu now here you can find the night blossom which is an absolutely amazing slush now me i'm not a huge fan of like i love slushes but i'm not a person that would like go out of my way to go find one like maybe i get one here and there but I i'm not the biggest fan but i would definitely go out of my way for a night blossom it is absolutely amazing it's super sweet i have a huge sweet tooth so that's always a plus for me it's absolutely amazing just trust me what i'm telling you if you love sweet things and sweet drinks just like me go out of your way try a night blossom you will not be disappointed 
it's the best slush on Walt Disney World property, at least of the ones that I've had. It's amazing. Just try it. Now, before we finish off the quick service category, there's one more place that I would like to include as like an honorable mention here. It's Tamu Tamu. Now here in Tamu Tamu, this is the place where you're gonna find Dole Whip in Animal Kingdom. Yes, you can find Dole Whip outside of Magic Kingdom. There are currently three other locations that you could get Dole Whip, the Polynesian, Disney Springs, and here Tamu Tamu in Animal Kingdom. Now, when I first heard that there was Dole Whip in Animal Kingdom, I was mind blown. I'm like, that is awesome. So then I went and I saw the menu. I'm like, it does exist. So I I've never had the Dole Whip from there, but it's pineapple Dole Whip. It's the classic treat. It's absolutely amazing. And wherever you get it, it's awesome. <laughs> now that does it for my quick service category. There are other restaurants that I want to try out in Animal Kingdom. There's one that I think would definitely crack my list. It's Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe. It's like the quick service location for Yak and Yeti. I heard some amazing things from it. I've heard their fried rice is absolutely amazing. It's out of this world. So that's one place that I do want to try. I do think it will make my list. And so I do think that my quick service category will expand at Animal Kingdom. Now we move on to the table service category category and this is where my list drastically suffers because there are some amazing table service locations that I haven't been to yet but first the only one that I have on my list is Rainforest Cafe now this one's kind of like the oddball out of all the other table service restaurants that I've talked about so far and will talk about it's not one that you would expect to hear on the best restaurants list but when I went the last time that I went me and my family we had a great experience. I mean, the food was great. The service was great. The atmosphere, it's a bit loud. I, I was sitting under a monkey. So, I mean, that's a first for me. I mean, where else can you say that you just ate a steak right under a monkey? I mean, that's... I guess that's a plus, <laughs> but you know, I was actually surprised by Rainforest Cafe, uh, their key lime pie, one of the best key lime pies I've had in my life. So it was actually a really great dining experience and it's gone to a point where me and my family have considered going to Rainforest Cafe again over other Disney restaurants, which I mean, that is a good thing. Now there are three table service restaurants at Animal Kingdom that I have heard absolutely amazing things about, but I haven't been to them. First one that I want to talk about is Yak and Yeti. Now I've heard some spectacular things about Yak and Yeti. A lot of people said it's one of their favorite restaurants on Walt Disney World property. I've heard great things. You know, Michael K, he says, he talks wonders about that American Kobe burger. So I I'm looking at that one as a potential when me and my family go in December. Another one that I'm looking at as a potential are those ahi tuna nachos. I'm a huge fan of ahi tuna. They look amazing. They're huge and I've heard great things about that one as well So I do definitely think that when I go to Yak and Yeti, it's gonna make its way into my best places to eat at list so that will just my table service category will definitely be expanding after December I'll tell you that another table service restaurant that I've heard absolutely amazing things about is Tiffin's now Tiffin's is the signature dining location here at Animal Kingdom Me and my family we've been looking to go for some time now we are going to go in December we have the reservation made I'm super excited about this one and I do definitely see this one making its way into my best restaurants list and the last restaurant that I would like to talk about is Tusker House now currently Tusker House is closed me and my family we did want to go in December but it still is closed a lot of people have said that they consider it to be the best character dining location on Walt Disney World property now for me I'm a little skeptical on that one because you have Garden Grill at Epcot which is like one of the best restaurants ever and I do consider it to be the best character dining location on property and it's gonna be super hard for a restaurant to ever beat Garden Grill so I am skeptical about that sadly me and my family it is closed right now we're not gonna be able to go in December so I have a little bit of hope that maybe it opens, but it's like slowly fading away every day that we get closer to the vacation. I personally don't see it opening before our vacation. So even if we don't go in December, we'll definitely be giving it a try in our next vacation. I'm super excited about that one and I do think that it will make it onto my list. So there you have the best places to eat at Animal Kingdom. Now I do see my list expanding in the future when I try out more restaurants. I've heard amazing things about some of the restaurants here at Animal Kingdom. That's the only reason why I rank 
Hollywood Studios under Animal Kingdom is because of what I've heard of the restaurants that I haven't been to yet. On, in Animal Kingdom, the restaurants that I haven't been to, I've heard amazing things about. On the other hand, in Hollywood Studios, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about certain restaurants that I haven't been to yet. Well, let me know in the comments below what you think about my list and whether or not I left out any of your favorites. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button and hit subscribe. I upload a brand new video every Wednesday. Thank you for being part of the Disney family and see you real soon.